Hi, I'm Rishikesh. I'm from Team 11. Our project is about developing ML agent using Unity platform. Introduction. Recent growth in machine learning and reinforcement learning has made it possible to diversify the concepts and algorithms in various fields and many applications. The companies are integrating machine learning capabilities in their systems. As bigger CPUs are more affordable, machine learning tasks are becoming more local. But there is a lack of information present for this machine to understand and work on every terrain. In this project, we explore an approach to address this issue through virtual to real world transfer learning using the new ML agent toolkit provided by Unity. Our approach utilizes data gathered from various virtual net environment for model training, bypassing the need to collect a large amount of data from the real world. We will first gather what kind of machine we intend to train in the real world. Then we design the agent and virtual environment according to the need in the real world. Unity has one of the best graphical and physics engines present in the market. So accuracy, is accuracy in virtual world can be nailed. Reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning is concerned with how intelligent agents ought to take actions in an environment in order to maximize the cumulative reward. Reinforcement learning is one of the three basic machine learning paradigms alongside supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Reinforcement learning does not need labeled input or output pairs to be presented. Instead, it focuses on finding a balance between exploration, which is which is a territory, it is undiscovered, and exploitation, the agent where, it's, where it has a current knowledge. Existing systems. Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine could serve as a general platform for AI research. The important missing element, however, is a set of useful abstractions and interfaces for conducting AI research. Many of the existing environments provide either unrealistic visuals, inaccurate physics. The, this overcomes when the Mojoko physics engine is used. It uses high quality physics simulation combined with a no number of standardized benchmarks as has led to perform being the primary choice for researchers. Proposed systems. Unity consists of collection of assets. These typically correspond to files within the project. Scenes are especially a type of asset which define the environment or level of a project. Game objects which correspond to the actual objects within the environment. However, many of these, many of these provide either uh, the capacity for the terrain and among the arti artificial intelligence to be uh, renders and rigid uh, rigid bodies and many others it customizes components using c sharp scripts or external plugins advantages and disadvantages advantages uh, this helps this help us simulate create multiple scenarios for everyday world physical complexity in, in the physical phenomena in the unity can be simulated by using NVIDIA physics or Havoc physics engine. Flexible control. It is possible to control most aspects of the simulation programmatically. For example, game objects can be conditioned, created in the real and destroyed in the real time. Disadvantages. Rendering speed and synchronization. The speed of the game game physics can be only be increased to 100, 100, 100 times the real, real time. The academy also moves in the time with, uh, with time with fixed update rather than update. So the game behavior implemented in update may be out of sync with the decision making. Third party trainers are, are not supposed to run ML agents within, within neural network behavior. Only models created with unity trainers are supported for running ML agents. Training an ML agent is simple, but time and energy taking process. It requires big GPU if doing a real time project. Algorithms. Here we have uh, two types of uh, algorithms we used in, in this project. One is proximal policy optimization and other one soft actor critic. First we know, first we, first to explain this, we need to, we need few things to know about the policy. A policy defines how an agent acts from a specific state. A policy is a network of those successful steps 
from that state to the successful outcome. PPO has become default reinforcement learning algorithm because of its easy use and good performance. It, it involves collecting a small batch of experiences interacting with the environment and using that batch to update its decision making policy. Once that policy is updated with its, with its batch, the experiences are thrown away and newer the, the newer batch is, is collected with a newly updated policy. And soft actor critic. The soft actor critic algorithm has been developed by UC Berkeley and Google. It is shortly termed as SAC. SAC can learn from experiences collected at any time during the past. As experiences are collected, they are placed in an experience replay buffer and randomly drawn during the training. This makes SAC significantly more sample efficient than PPO, which is uh, five to ten times, uh, which requires five to times less samples than PPO. However, SAC tends to require more model updates. SAC, SAC is a good choice for heavier or slower environments. So by using them both, our project can scale on almost all the environments, be it a smaller one or a heavier or larger environments. Main concepts and platforms used. Output. Conclusion. In this project, we trained our agent on virtual data generated from Unity and we saw that Unity's ML agent can be used in real world by taking virtual environment and training an agent to perform the task. Robots, battery life, human fatigue and safety considerations are major challenges for manual collections. With the current settings, we can minimize a great deal of labor, also minimize the time. Robots can be virtually trained to navigate in the terrain that is hard to access or even dangerous and also the terrains that are currently impossible to access and collect that without ever being exposed to these environments. Thank you.